Hello and welcome. This is Today in the News. First, the highlights. Finance Minister denies Naira redesign policy, warns CBN of consequences. Court of Appeal nullifies judgment ordering Inamdekano's release. Labour Party inaugurates a 1,453-member Presidential Campaign Council. Federal University Oyekiti matriculates 7,433 students to begin medicine course. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, says she was never consulted over the Central Bank of Nigeria's plan to redesign the Naira notes. Her revelation comes 48 hours after official announcement by the CBN Governor Godwin Emefile, which takes effect from the 15th of December this year. The minister disclosed this when she appeared before the Senate's Committee on Finance at the National Assembly to defend budget estimates for her ministry. She told lawmakers she was unaware of such plans by the CBN and got a wind of the information after the announcement was made by the Apex Bank. However, she acknowledges that it may be the CBN strategy to control the rising inflation, but warns that it may come with its own challenges and consequences. The Court of Appeal in Abuja stopped the execution of its judgment, which faulted the rendition of Unam Dekanu from Kenya to Nigeria, and also set aside the terrorism charges against him. Justice Haruna Sanami, in a ruling, upheld the federal government's application, ordering that the execution of the judgment be put on hold. The federal government had applied that the execution of the judgment is suspended pending the resolution of its appeal lodged at the Supreme Court. Justice Sanami, in the briefing ruling, held that the counter affidavit filed against the federal government application by Mr. Kano's legal team was misleading. The Vice Chancellor of the Federal University of Yekiti, Professor Abayomi Fashino, says the university's calendar had been fashioned to cover lost grounds following the eight month strike by the Academic Staff Union of University, which was recently suspended. Mr. Fashino also said that Foye, with the presence in nine communities and bringing development into Ekiti State, would admit students for medicine and surgery in the next academic session. The VC spoke during the 11th matriculation ceremony of the school where 7,433 students were officially admitted to the school. Professor Fashino says Fouye is living up to the responsibility of fulfilling its mandate. Little wonder that in the last jam, Fouye ranked as the sixth most subscribed university in Nigeria. <music> Liberal Party has now inaugurated its 1,453-member presidential campaign council at the party's headquarters in Abuja. Speaking after the inauguration, Director General of the Campaign Council, Don Yokupe, said the council would deliver Peter Obi as President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in February 2023. He boasted that more than 15 million voters are already waiting to cast their ballots for Peter Obi as they cannot wait to have him as their next president. Mr. Okupe said the party will flag off its presidential campaign in Lafia, Nasarawa State Capital, on Saturday. 